中美国家哥伦比亚西部重镇布埃纳温图拉市，百分之九十五的人口都是非裔居民。为了保护家园，他们不惜武装对抗政府的开发计划，并最终取得了这里的实际控制权。The West Coast of Colombia is, is, is basically, in many ways, Africa. The African Colombian loves it, and so they live their own way. And in the process, they have remembered their culture. These were lands that belonged to our ancestors, so we had to organize ourselves and recover the lands we had lost. We never dreamed that it could be possible. But Libya quickly realized that state control is not equal to legal ownership. So he went on the path of truth. 1993年，利比亚组织选民促成了第七十号法案通过。这项历史性的立法承认，非裔哥伦比亚人是独特的少数民族，在他们居住了数百年的家园，有着独特的民族文化和土地所有权。这一辉煌的胜利，确保了哥伦比亚黑人社会对两万四千平方公里土地的所有权。The politicians accepted Law 70, but they had no idea how many rivers there were or how many Afro-Colombians inhabited those regions. The area is one of the most biodiverse in the world. Our daily practices of caring for the river and the land help to maintain that biodiversity. We, as a black community, share a history and a common vision, grounded in the idea that nature is our principal ally. We want the liberty to construct a different kind of life, based on nature, so the world can see. 接下来，请观赏《古井贡酒特约之《锵锵三人行》。